Uh, this is an image of mine when I was in Singapore. I was just shooting and I've got this tattoo on my left arm, okay? So in these cases, now you can, so the first tip I can give you is always make a precise selection. So I want to remove this tattoo, okay? Now here I can try just an empty prompt also, but sometimes when I'm looking for something specific like this, I've just found the results to be slightly better when I actually type in remove tattoo, okay? Again, both will work. I'm just giving you my own opinion. You can try both. Try an empty prompt also. Try this one also because remember, this is still in the beta stage. Uh, so things can change and how they work. All it's changing very, very fast, okay? You can try both the approaches. But let's see uh, once the rendering gets over. All right, you can see like that did a pretty clean job. Again, I'm going to get three variations. Uh, you can see this kind of left a bit of it. So it's not going to do every time a perfect job in all the variations. That's why you get three sets. And you can see, I think this one looks good. We can compare this quickly with the original. Yeah. Okay, again, I'm going to get back to this later, tell you how to precisely select things, how to make it work in a better way. That's going to be in a separate video. But what we're going to do from the next point onwards is that we're going to be looking at a different AI tool, which is called as Neural Filter. I'll see you there. Bye for now.